We recently conducted the large bore IV access showdown, which demonstrated the flow rates you can get through commonly used IV cannulas in the ED, and we showed that the 8.5 French Rick line could deliver fluid the fastest when connected to a Ranger high pressure rapid infuser system. Many of you then asked about the effect that things like IV tubing, IV bungs or warming devices would have on flow rates. So to answer these questions and to demonstrate the effect of adding a point of narrowing to your fluid administration system, Will Sargent and I conducted round two of the large bore IV access showdown. In this video we demonstrate the effect on flow of the longer rapid infuser tubing with a blood warmer, standard IV bungs and a three-way tap. We didn't use standard IV tubing as we'll hopefully do this in another video soon. We also look into the internal anatomy of an IV bung to show you just how narrow these commonly used devices actually are. So here we go with round two of the large bore IV access showdown. We're back. This is the rapid infuser showdown volume two. Um, we thought we'd do one because last time we didn't have the warmer hooked up. So this is the pressure bag rapid infuser going through the blood warmer, coming out the main long tubing to uh, Eight and a half French brick line, which was the fastest line last time. So I don't know how long that's going to take. Wonder if the warmer slows it down. Okay. You ready, Will? Ready to go. So I've got the whole thing primed. And ready? Go. Three, three, two, one, start. I reckon that looks a bit slower. Mm. It's not making a big noise. It's not making the. Uh, That hose noise that the last one made. Well, we're in the sink now, so there's another variable. We're in the sink. We haven't factored into it. I don't get some noise in the plug hole. Alright. Still going. It's going to do the slow, painful finish right almost. Yeah. Drops. What do you call it? 137. 137. Still a couple little drops. Alright. Yeah. Well, that's interesting. So, the blood warmer, which I'll pull out and show you if I can get it out now. So that's the blood warmer that sort of slots in, or your fluid warmer that slots into this device that hangs off the side there. It does actually slow it down, probably doubles the... Has it got a rate on there? Because I think... No. Uh, Interesting. Well, Alright, we'll have to look that up. So, just to know, does having the uh, fluid running through the warmer does slow it down, even with the fastest line on? Good to know. Alright, well, next one, people asked us about what if you put connectors on the reclines, do they slow them down? So we're going to put just a standard IV bung end on, so that's a little connector. Hard to know whether these uh, slow things down or not, we're going to put that on the 8.5 French rick, like that. We're going to use this short tubing that we used in the first test which is shorter than you would use on a real patient. So you had to be giving sedium a 20, of course it's going to slow it down a bit, but it's just for the sake of comparison. We can see, uh, let's have a watch, see whether having that little bun connector in between your giving set and your recline actually slows it down. Okay, okay so this is eight and a half inch recline with a bun between the giving set and the rick. In three, two, one, go. Ooh, that's, <laughs> that's pretty slow. <laughs> so, hard to see with the white background. We'll do it even horizontal. Yeah, we hit I the think, wall before. <laughs> so I think last time without the yeah, uh, we've now without that to bung in the middle, that would be shooting out. Seven year old wall. flow. And that's, uh, yeah, that's that needs a turp. We're at 45, 40, 45, yeah. 46 seconds, 47. Previously, without that bung, would it be done? We'd be done by now. You can see there's still a bit of fluid in the bag there. Just that. 321. 321. Alright, 321 for an 8.5 French Rick with a normal bun. That's a lot slower. Okay, next thing people asked us about was three way taps. So that's just your standard. Standard three-way tap, see those in ED a lot. Some of these are sort of connected onto pre-made uh, loops of tubing and stuff. We thought we'd just do the do the standalone tap, see what happens. So that goes in there. So it's just open straight down with the side side port shut. So eight and a half inch rig on. So this is eight and a 
a half French Rick, three way tap. So it's that one. Yep. Yeah. Ready? Yep. In three, two, one, go. Mm -hmm. Well, that's a bit better. Mm -hmm. So there must be something. I mean, that little valve must have a well, pretty significant narrow Yeah, yeah, that was pretty slow. Mm -hmm. really. Because that's looking quite good. That's satisfying. Yes. Uh, okay. One nineteen. One nineteen. Alright, so this is our control run. So this is just to make sure the setup's working roughly the same as the last time. So we've just got the eight and a half inch rip line straight onto the giving set that we had last time. So I realise most of you have tubing in between, but this is just our control for this series. Unconstrained That's good. control run on three, two, one, go. Oh, that's what we wanted. <laughs> 46, thought it's going to be close. 50, yes. 52. All right, Will, so you've made yeah. an interesting discovery about the uh, the standard IV bung. So yeah, you just so pulled it apart. I just pulled it apart with my teeth and um, the little valve really does have, it, it has a narrow little slit. It's all right, stand back and just zoom in a bit, just there. Which shows you why the flow is so slow, oh, because... That's great, that's a really good view of it. So that's what your fluid's trying to go through. Just put it back together so everyone can so see sort of how... Slots. Hang on a sec, there we go, yep. Into there. Hang on. That's the broken bit, which obviously... So we've pulled it apart, but that's what it sort of looks like when it's, and that, when it's intact. So and that then when, when it's compressed... End, Obviously that little slit opens up, but I, I didn't know. So when you're trying to put your fluid through, that's what your sort of your, your giving set pushes into, that mm. plastic nozzle on your giving set, but it's trying to force fluid through that tiny pinhole there, mm. which might expand a bit, I guess. It might open a bit when you put your giving oh, set yeah, in, but, but it, just pull it, it, it apart shows again. And why we had such a, a significant effect on the flow so that we just demonstrated. Just, hang on, I'll zoom right in on that. I'll push it open to show. On your nice clean fingernails. Yeah, yeah nice. So, yeah, pretty small little opening. So that's why mm. IV bungs uh, aren't Bucket. so good. Excellent. Thanks, Will. Cool. So there you have it. Flow through a standard IV bung is markedly slower than through a three-way tap, and of course adding a blood warmer and longer extension tubing to the rapid infuser slows the rate of flow. But you can still get a litre into your patient in under three and a half minutes, which isn't too bad. Thanks for watching and if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below and be sure to check out our growing library of procedure videos at edprocedures.com.